This is a 2010 Toyota Highlander, and I want to install a seven pin trailer hitch. And I looked online, there's nothing available. They got the four pin, four flat four, and I'm gonna to have to buy that kit. But I did a bunch of homework and I figured out why I have to buy it, and I'll explain that to you right now. But uh, this is the fuse box, and if you look down here, it says towing 30 amp, and that is this one right here. Um, I pulled that fuse next to it, shoved it in there, and it energizes the pink wire that is under the steering wheel. We'll get to that in a few minutes. Um, this is the positive terminal. I'm going to have to come off of this with two wires, one to run the brakes, and one because I'm running 12 volts to the to the that 7-pin hitch because I want that for my trailer as well. And there's no wiring in the car that's strong enough to run the electric brakes or the, you know, the 12 volts to the hitch. So I'll get a 30 amp auto reset breaker and, and connect that to there. Now the, the kit that you buy is not going to do anything for reverse lights. So you're still going to need to go into the taillight and snag your reverse lights if you want reverse on your trailer, reverse lights on your trailer, which means you got to go through this little hole over here. Now, um, you had to take out this corner down here and there's this bucket you have to remove and there's these two little nuts and that fastener, the two nuts hold, there's this spin onto the bottom and then the other plug thing is there. And then there's this other little lug that sticks down here, which was a hassle. That, this is a three seat model, that's right about here. So you had to lift up on the bucket till that lug cleared, and then you had to bend the bucket in a lot. So you can't do this on a cold day or else the bucket, the plastic will snap. So as soon as you get the bucket out, you will see down in there, and it's like, oh, there's the wire I'm looking for. It's not it. You're looking for this other one, which is, um, it's only four. It's dead. There's nothing coming out of it. Um, you got to power that from underneath the, underneath the uh, steering wheel. It was taped up in here. You see the tape hanging, but it was all taped up in there, kind of hidden. But you got to find that. And then while I'm here, the uh, that's the rubber plug you're going to knife to run your wires out of the vehicle. And then you got a ground over here, which is a uh, six millimeter. So you're going to want a quarter inch terminal to tidy up all your grounds right there. So um, I made a little map of what's underneath the dashboard because there's no room, but I'll shoot a video up there. But uh, there's just what's so, so what's going on up there. You got a bigger terminal. You got the uh, you got the four dead wires, so you could jump from this over to this and energize that plug that's in the back. Um, but you've got um, this thing P is for pink. That's the uh, the one coming off the um, you know the fuse box, and it's you know towing 30 amp unswitched. Um, and then right next to that, that's the brake. It's a gray wire, and then you've got the uh, the right turn signal is red, and the uh, left turn signal is uh, black. And then the uh, blue which must be the tail. So if you had to get, you know, some trailer down the road or something, you could jump out of this and just pull out, you know, the tail light or something and, and, and come out of this thing down here and then jump out again. Or you just run a wire, you know, I don't know, whatever. But but you're going to have to buy the modulators. Cause, so, here's, so here's what happens. The, um, everything's separate between the, between the turn signals and the brake. And that's why you need to buy the modulator because it combines it and sets it up for an 1157 bulb where in the 1157, the, the bright filament is the brake and the turn. And this is totally separate. So with this, if you, you know, if you put the turn signal on, you step on the brake and the, the nothing, it doesn't, it's all separate. It doesn't change anything. So you need something that, that homogenizes it and links it together. And that's why you have to buy the, you know, the kit. But then, so you'll still, um, you know, I need a, I need a, you know, for the electric brakes, I need a brake modulator. So I'm going to pull out of the, that brake um, um, wire right there to, you know, to give me, to get my brake signal. And then I'm going to have to bring in, you know, a new 30 amp wire off the battery. And uh, obviously with some kind of few circuit breaker on it. And then those wires are going to have to come all the way back to the, you know, to the back, to the hitch in the back. They won't come into this compartment in the car. They're going to go straight back to the hitch. So you still got to buy the hitch. You still got to get a wire out of the off the um, off the um, tail light if you want a uh, if you want reverse lights. And uh, let me just go up here and I can show you what's going on in here. Okay, so you crawl under here and you're gonna go in there. 
the pedals and you gotta look up, up and up and up and up. And that's the terminal that I drew the picture of. You can see the pink wire. It's a little heavier than the others, but you can see how light the other ones are. There's, there's, they don't, they don't, not gonna do anything. If they're like, they're like for LEDs. I mean, they're really not gonna do anything for you. Um, so the four terminals on the right, or those are the ones that are powered. And then the other, the kind of T-shaped one, that's the, uh, the one coming from the circuit panel. That's where the pink wire connects. And the four dead ones all the way on the left, that is what connects to the other thing that we found in the, in the, you know, in the back. So if you jumped, you know, a wire out of here, you know, you could, you could get power to the back just if you needed to run something home with taillights, um, you could do it. But, uh, other than that, um, you got to buy all these parts, which is what I'm going to do. Put this together next weekend. Okay. So anyhow, good luck. We, uh, but it took, uh, there was nothing online that showed any of this stuff, so I had to make a video. Anyhow, see ya. Good luck.